The important thing is that they're coming up the ramp. That way they're not going to be messing with our our base. Me getting hits off on them. Um, okay, we're going to have to move a little closer and just try and time some swings and make sure we stay right on the center of that. we got to get closer, otherwise I'm never going to get any hits. Ah, oh, this is not easy. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is uh, the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Uh, we have a nitrogen-generated map that's almost entirely made up of the Wasteland with a small green biome somewhere on the map that we are searching for but have not found. Uh, all right, so it is Horde Night. I have been working all through last night and then through most of the day today. It's almost like, I don't know, 1,600 hours or something like that. I got the game paused because I'm racing against time here. Um, and so I, I did a bunch of mining last night, uh, got a whole bunch of stone, got some lead and got some iron because I ran into a couple of veins underground. And, uh, now I'm just cranking out concrete as quickly as I can, um, to make myself a, a little horde base, uh, for horde 14. So I'm going to bring you in at this point so you can kind of see the, the, the finishing, uh, touches that I'm going to put on the base, and hopefully we can get it done before the horde actually starts. So, like I said, we don't have a lot of time. Um, and what I'm doing here is I, I'm kind of combining. Uh, my plan is, anyways, I don't know how well it's going to work, but my plan is to combine both the, um, you know, the the steep ridge bridge thing in Madoodle that we did on seven, along with some um, some poles, some concrete poles, so that we can kind of set up. A, a, a kill zone to where I can, you know, try and melee some of the zombies because I just don't have enough ammunition. I don't even have enough crossbow bolts, you know, to, to shoot them. Um, and we're also going to have our, um, our junk turret in play tonight too. So the, so the goal is to set up the, 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 uh, the poles now, and then, you know, kind of finish some kind of, you know, very rudimentary enclosure for us. Um, you know, with what I've got set up here so that we still have a little, you know, we can shelter from cops. So probably what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll probably put some like plate blocks, um, here so that I have a place that I can kind of duck behind if we get cops. I don't know if we'll get cops on Horde 14 or not. We might, considering the fact that we're in the wasteland, we might, um, I mean, you know, but I need a place to shelter. And then depending upon how our time goes, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also going to need to shelter from buzzers too, because we could very well get, uh, um, you know, blood boot buzzards tonight. Uh, or even just normal buzzers for that matter. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to get as much done as I can, but we're going to probably have to make one more trip over yonder here to where our cement mixer is and grab some more uh, concrete, rather, because uh, I have a lot of concrete still being made up. Okay, let's get started here. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is um, we got to change the rotation of this block. So let's see, let's do an advanced rotation. And what I want to do is I want to get horizontal. Um, yeah, okay, so that's going to bring it in towards me right there. Okay, so we're going to have to double up on this like that. Okay, now what we want to do, uh, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to rotate it, we're, and we're gonna we're gonna quad this up basically. So that way the zombies have to break through four reinforced concrete blocks because we'll upgrade these to actually get to me. And I will, you know, I'm going to prevent uh, them from being able to jump, too, of course. Excellent. Okay. So as soon as those set up, uh, we will, you know, we'll upgrade them to reinforce. And then hopefully hopefully that all gets done before the Horde Knight actually starts tonight. Uh, I think so. I think we'll have time. All right, cool. So that part's done. So, yeah, the basic idea is I just stand here. And I use my sledgehammer and, you know, I whack on them as they, they come. Now, I don't know, you know, they're going to also be falling off 
here too so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work but I didn't want to I didn't want my structure so close to the flat edge of the platform you know that they could they could just stand on the flat part and and bang on it. I want them to try and come out onto the to the bridge here and they're gonna fall off but if I time it right hopefully I can get a few hits off on them while that happens okay good so now the next thing we have to do is we've got to make sure that they don't try and jump over this on top of our head and I think probably the best way to do that is gonna be uh, we're gonna have to make some more flagstone too so how many can I make 54 let's make I don't know let's make another 40 of those and then we're gonna have to get some more cobble going too I've got the resources for it I just need to make more so let's make another, I don't know, say 300 cobble. Okay, so we still have these two blocks here. Um, so one thing we could do, I suppose, is we could... If we do a copy rotation, which is here, okay? But I want that to be... I want that to be I think right there. I think. Is that right? It's kind of hard to say. Kind of hard to say from this angle. Um, no, because I think that's holding it too far this way. That actually, though, you know what? That maybe that is what we want. Eh, 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 eh. No, I don't think that's what we want. I don't think that's what we want. I think what we want here. Let's get up a little higher. I think what we want is we want this to be uh, oh shit I just had it <laughs> um, well actually is that what we want right there I can't I can't even see the damn block where is it at yeah I think that's what we want right there You know what though? I wonder if let's let's do this, but you know what? I think I'm gonna change the shape of this. We could do a half block or we could do a plate. Let's do let's do a plate. Alright, so um No, you know what? That's not going to work because we because it's going to cover up the area we need to get through. Is it? No, there's still an opening there. Man, it's so hard to see. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is what we want right here. However, I think... Is that a... Oh, no, that's a center plate. No wonder I'm confused. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, we don't want center plate. We want just normal plate. Nope, <laughs> not pyramid. Goodness, man. Where's the, where's the damn normal plate at? That's the centered plate. My eyeballs are not working. Wet concrete plate. That's the one we want. Okay, goodness gracious. I was like getting so confused there. There we go. That's what we want. And that's going to prevent them from jumping up, trying to jump up over onto my head. I suppose theoretically it's possible that spiders, you know, uh, could get through there, I guess. I don't know. They probably could, actually, now that I think about it, but... I mean, shit, if they do, we'll just have to use the guns on them <laughs> and, and hope for the best, right? Uh, jeez. Okay. All right. Let's, um, get... Start getting these upgraded and reinforced as soon as they're ready for us to do so. And we're gonna need... We're gonna need to make a, a little bridge to get across there. For now. Because this is the most important piece right here. That's the piece that we definitely want to be 
upgraded to reinforced concrete by the time the Horde Knight starts, for sure. All right, now, um, the next thing I want to do, we can do 14 more uh, upgrades to reinforced. I would kind of like to get this front part upgraded too because uh, it could take some damage uh, some damage um, this back part maybe not so much uh, I do have the first three blocks down below as well as the core all upgraded to reinforce concrete but I just haven't had enough concrete to do this all at once so I'm kind of doing it in stages so I'm just trying to prioritize you know what the most important thing is here all right what I want to do now is I think we're going to continue with the uh, we're going to continue with the the plate idea, except for um, I think we're going to go with cobble for the rest of these, and then we'll upgrade them as we get time, just because, here again, I'm running out of time. It's almost 1,800 hours. Okay, so let's go to shape, and once again, we want just the, the normal plate. Flagstone plate, I believe, is what we're after. Okay, and now let's, uh, let's do an advanced rotation. Um, do we want to, well, nah. Okay. But well, we're going to put that out there. And we're going to double it up. And we're going to put, put it here as well. Okay. And that's going to give us protection from, you know, from cop spit, basically. So if we get, um... You know, if we do get a cop coming up and he starts to, to puke, we just duck behind here really quick. Now, we need to also do uh, something similar on the backside, though, because we could also get, you know, the horde could all be coming from that direction. Uh, but, uh, and one of the reasons I chose this place, too, is it already basically has the ramp built in. It's got the stairs. So right before the horde night starts, we'll pull those blocks up, and then they'll have a pathway up here. Uh, what the zombies do right now, if they aggro me, is they go up those stairs, come around here, and then, as you can see, I've got a murder hole uh, right there for them. Okay, so let's do, um, these are the most important ones, so let's get these upgraded right now. Here comes the thunder, baby. Okay. I hope that we've got all of that upgraded to reinforce now. No, 100% positive if we have, but I think I think we have. All right, so I think this is a pretty good setup. Um, let's go ahead and um, and I, you know, I'll have room to put the junk turret down. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put the junk turret down. I don't know, right about here-ish. So, it, you know, and we'll stand here, and the junk turret and I will work together. I have 2,000 junk turret ammo. That was the one thing I was able to make, so I made a whole bunch of that stuff. All right, now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to continue our, our wall here. And, um... Just try to think how I want to do that. We could put this out here. doesn't leave me much room if I put it here, does it? Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's go with this setup. I think I'm going to do this. For one one reason, I'm just concerned that I'm not going to have enough. That way we can kind of walk out here and walk back this way if we need to, to clear them off down below. It does leave us a little bit vulnerable right there, but um, I'm not really sure what else to do about that right now. So, and we're running out of time. So yeah, let's just go with this setup. Okay. 
Um, now, I think for the roof, it's eighteen fifty-one. We need to go get concrete one more time. Oh shit, we've got we still have one more of these to upgrade. Good. Yeah, this, like I said, this is the most important, and this, this has to be completely cured and reinforced by the time the Horde Knight starts. Um, alright, let's see here. How much concrete do I have? I got ten. I can do one more block. I think we, I think what we're gonna do, guys, is, I might, you know, if we end up staying here longer, I might, uh, improve on this later, but we've got, we've got to get ready right now. So, I'm gonna put, we're just gonna use wood frame blocks for our roof to protect us from from vultures i don't think we'll get boss vultures tonight i mean i suppose we could you know the ones that actually spit but as long as they're normal vultures this should protect us you know i don't think they'll come through here and if they do you know shotgun we'll introduce them to our little friend all right now um we got to make one more trip out to get uh, one more load of concrete, or uh, concrete, yeah. And then uh, we're coming back and we're hunkering down and getting ready to go. You know, I could even, how much, nah, I don't have very much wood. Okay, we got to go, we got to go. Quit messing around. <laughs> we don't have time. We don't have time for this. I mean, and I started, I started work on this at like 6.30 in the morning, and it's taken me all day just to do this, but part, it's partly because I have to keep running back and forth for more batches of, of concrete. And actually, honestly, now that I think about it, it's really almost too late to do concrete now anyway, because it might not set up, but let's just go do the best we can with it. The uh, mine that I worked on, okay, let's go, goes from the prison um, and then comes up underneath the house that has the chem bench in it. So now we have an underground pathway to get to the chem bench. I did that more just to do the mining and the XP than for the actual path because we can actually make a chem bench anyway. And I think of what I'm going to do, guys, uh, once I get to the ability to make the... Um, uh, the tool bench. We're gonna make the tool bench. I made a second forge too, by the way. And we'll make a chem bench, and then you know, because we have the land claim block down, we'll be able to actually pick those up and take those with us when we move on. So that way we'll have them. Okay, so it's 1932. So I think what we'll do. Oh, come on, hurry up and cure. Um, we need to have here. Let's get these upgraded. I want light. I've got three torches here. So let's put a torch there so we can kind of see what the hell's going on. And um, I think what I'm going to do with the rest of this concrete is let's get these upgraded to reinforced because those are the ones that are most likely to take some hits and let's get oh shit what <laughs> damn it all right well, you know what we needed to come down here anyway hopefully there's no zombies around if there are we're gonna have to blast them okay let's get these upgraded too we probably won't get these upgraded to reinforced uh and have them cure but we'll do the best that we can how much concrete do i have oh i've got 300 okay so 300 is basically 30 blocks might as well just get all the rest of this done. Well, maybe we should do the side plates instead. Ah, you know what? We're gonna just go with what we got. I gotta. I'll get those side plates upgraded to cobble. While we're down here, we might as well get the rest of this done. And then, you know, like I said, if we're here for the next horde night, I don't think we will be. I'd like to be moved on by then, but... Uh, or, you know, if we have the ability to come back here, because we should have at least a mini bike by then, then we can, you know, do some further upgrades on this. 
All right. There's a Zombo over there. Stay nice and quiet. Yeah, this should be an interesting horde night. We'll see how things go. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty crazy. If we don't get cops, we're golden. Cops are the th one thing that could really cause some problems for us. And I would say normally we probably wouldn't on day 14, but we are in the wasteland and we are on insane difficulty too, so that could be a factor. Okay, so it. We have it. Oh, you know, that's the other thing. We need to save some of this for for repairs to this block. Yeah, we better not use any more. All right, I'm going to open this up, and now now they have a pathway to come up here. So, you know, if they spawn from that direction, they just go right through the gate, come around this way, and right up. And we've got a three-block platform here, so that that would give me a little bit more time to line up on them. If... Uh, you know, if I'm if I'm shooting, and we do have some ammunition. I have a few bolts, but okay. Let's get rid of her. You are thirsty. Okay, here we go. We are in place here. Um, we need light, so let's get a torch out. It might be interesting as to where this torch will actually attach. Because uh, all these blocks are inward facing, aren't they? Can we just put it... I know that's kind of a weird spot for it, but... Can we put a torch up here no because that's all inward facing okay well you know what it's kind of weird but it'll work no that ain't gonna work <laughs> I'd like a little more light than this but I don't know where else to put a torch okay let's not worry about that that's we've got enough light to do what we need to do let's get these upgraded to cobble But one thing I really do like about Alpha 18 is uh, you get some decent XP uh, for, for building and upgrading and stuff. So yeah, we're going to save the rest of our concrete for repairing um, this block. The, that concrete there shouldn't... I'm not expecting it to take zombie hits. It might take um, spit, cop spit hits, but not zombie. But the thing is, is right now it's 2,500 hit points, and if I try and upgrade it now to the wet stuff, it's going to go back down to 1500, so we're just going to leave it the way that it is. Hopefully that's not a mistake, but you know, you can only do what you can do, right? You can only do what you can do. Okay, no more concrete upgrades now. We've got to save the rest of it. All right, so yeah, I think uh, we're about ready to rock and roll it here. One thing, one thing I might change later on uh, with these blocks here is we could actually make them wood bars, so that way if a, if a vulture does come down, we could shoot it. In fact, we could even shoot them through here for that matter, but wooden bars would be a little more, a little easier to work with, I think. <clears throat> and, you know, we can still go out here if need be to clear any zombos that are beating on the base down there, but I don't think, I mean, they, they should detect if they have a, a clear path to me. Hopefully this doesn't screw that up, though, now that I think about it. That might actually screw that up. Hmm. <clears throat> didn't even, that didn't even occur to me. Well, I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. That could not go well. Because if this tells their AI they can't get to me, then they're going to start trying to take down the actual tower itself. Hmm. This is something I, I used to great success in Alpha 17. 
Um, well, there's nothing I can do about it now. We're, we're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out if it's going to work or not. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. If it doesn't, then, you know, I don't know. We'll just come what may, right? I have a few Molotovs, but not enough to last the whole night. Not even close. Okay, let's get you set down and ready to go. And we're just going to kind of... Hopefully that thing doesn't shoot me. You know what might be better for that is we had like another uh, platform out here and we could put it out on the corner. I mean, we can't do that right now. We don't have time, but maybe later. I wonder what the what the SI on this is too. That's the other thing. You have to be kind of be careful, you know, about putting stuff on the on the bars. Okay, let's see. Let's take care of our our food situation. So we'll take a sham. Got all that sham from the uh, Shamway store the other day. And let's drink something and make sure we're in good shape in that regard. Uh, we're gonna put the big medical kits and the smaller medical kits down there. We're going to make sure that we have the claw hammer. Let's just repair that too. We probably didn't need to, but let's just do it anyway. Um, these, let's just turn back into normal blocks for now in case we need them for some reason. I don't want them to be a weird shape. Uh, Alright, so we've got, uh, let's get our crossbow down here. Um, yeah, actually, no, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. Let's put the hammer there. I want the other shotgun. I want my main guns on my toolbar. We, we are so low, though, on, uh, on 7.62s. It's scary. Yeah, you're loaded, too. All right, I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's repair this, too. Make sure that's in full shape. Because if everything goes the way I hope it goes, we're going to mostly be using this sledgehammer tonight. These will be for, like, emergencies. If we have time and need to heal, we'll just open up our inventory and use the smaller bandages. And we've got plenty of pills, too. All right, well. This is it, you guys. <laughs> we'll see how well my, my little plan works. I think I'm afraid my junk is going to shoot me right in the ass. Um... I'm not sure what to do about that, though. I don't... I just don't really feel good about putting another layer of blocks out there. If it was just concrete, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't... You know, that wouldn't bother me, but with the bars and stuff. If I move this a little closer... It should be able to shoot up and hit him in the head. Well, I hope it can. It looks like the laser beam is just... Maybe clearing it a little. We'll, we'll start it with start it right there and we'll see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Do or die, man. Do or die. Okay, so they are coming from that direction, which is good. And it looks like they're going to come right on up... Are they going to come up the ramp? That's the question. Oh, they are. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Whoa. All right. Getting hits off. The important thing is that they're coming up the ramp. That way they're not going to be messing with our, our base. Me getting hits off on them. Um, okay, we're going to have to move a little closer and just try and time some swings and make sure we stay right on the center of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is, uh... We gotta get closer, otherwise I'm never gonna get any hits. Oh, this is not easy. We might need to use a faster melee weapon. I just gotta try and get the timing down. Holy crap, this isn't easy. Okay, we gotta hit there. Did we? Looks like we got tapped. All right, let's um. I 
I want to save the, the bandages for really bad situations. Now, you know what, too, maybe we should do for the next time, if we do this design again, is we should pull this, we should have the angled blocks only be two instead of three. Well, I don't know, that's, that's kind of a safety precaution, though, because if this actually ever did go down, they're still going to theoretically fall down before they hit us. Okay, let's stay right on the center and see if we can time some hits. Well, no, time some hits. There we go. Uh, okay, I think it sounded like I might have hit it. I don't know. We got him. There we go. Man, this is not easy to do. And, you know, different zombies come at different speeds, too. Oh, man, this sucks. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go to the spear. And I need to back up just a smidge, too. Yeah, I, I don't know. I am, I am thinking maybe what really needs to happen here is we need to, um, make the, make it two, you know, make it two blocks. I mean, the chances of them breaking all four of these and, 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 you know, theoretically, probably even they'd have to break all eight of them before they could actually get to us. As long as we're keeping it repaired, that's just not going to happen. And then we could just move everything closer. But the timing of the, of the sledge, the sledge is so slow that that is just really hard to do. Because they're just moving quickly. You know, they're cycling quickly, which is good. I mean, that's a damn good thing in terms of the safety of this base, right? But it just makes it hard to actually hit them. If a person had, like, really high spear skills, this would be, this would be ideal. Once in a while, they get a little hit off on us. Okay, now the buzzard's trying to come after me. Alright, let's take one of these bandages. So, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this design in terms of it being safe. But, it's really hard for us to use melee to actually get good kills off. Um, so, let's go ahead. Should we, should we shoot some bolts? See, the thing is, is I don't want to use up all my bolts because we're going to need them, you know, for later. And there's no way I have enough bullets to do this. Okay, let's get you. I totally forgot about my junk turret. Yeah, let's keep, let's definitely keep him working because he's the one, that's the one thing we can do is hit him with our junk turret. Let's do a little bit of repairing here. Can't really repair the front blocks of these, but you know, it is what it is, right? Very minimal damage though. And if you know if this was ever upgraded to to steel, it would be really badass. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking for this. So we've got how many um, bolts do we have? We have 45. Yeah. I just don't want to shoot all these up. Because the thing about the bolts is I can make the iron arrowheads now, but I still have to get the feathers. And that means going out in the boonies. Well, come on, old guy. If you're going to use your crossbow bolts, make sure that they count. <laughs> Shit. Ah, see? You can't jump up here, you little bastard. You tried it, didn't you? You got to quit jerking my hand when I pull the trigger. Shit. All right, you know what? We're just wasting ammo. Let's get that reloaded. It's a good thing I made 2,000 junk turn ammo. That's all I got to say. Let's just keep this guy going. 
that's really probably the best thing we can do right now. We were having some very limited success with our spear. We just don't have any skill in spear, but, you know. Okay, we hit her. If I could get a Molotov down there without burning myself. There we go. I don't know if the fire's getting all the way on the ground though. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit. Because for they were kind of grouping up down there for a little while, but now they stopped. So yeah, if they do that again, we'll we'll Molotov them again. Oh hey, here's a victim. <laughs> you go right on ahead, Spider, and get right up there. There you go. Oh hey, dude. Oh, we got a hit that time. Maybe I just need to try and get used to the timing of this, you know. It, the, the thing that makes it tough, though, is the zombies come at different speeds, you know? Oh, time to do this. Uh, where are we at? Okay, there's a nice little grouping of them down there. Man, I'm just I'm just so afraid I'm gonna hit myself, you know. <laughs> Suck it, spider! Let's do a nice little repair. I think probably the, the front corner block, the bottom corner block, is probably um, pretty messed up by now, but even if it breaks, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Are they grouping up again? A little bit. All right, let's throw another. Ah, shit. I knew that was going to happen. Son of a... Yeah, that's really tricky. <laughs> that's really tricky. Alright, they're still cycling for the most part, though. Alright, let's re redo you. Um, put the Molotovs here. Put the junk turret here. We got lots of junk turret ammo. Enough to last the whole night and then some. So, that's our one weapon that's working good for us. Okay, we took a hit. Oh, and we got infected, too. Alright, well, we, we can fix that. The honey will actually give us some stamina cap back, too, so we'll get a double whammy from it. Um, let's take another one of these bandages. All right. Yeah, come on, Spidey. Okay, let's see if we can... The dog's too fast. That pink shirt. Nope, pink shirt was a little too fast, too. Oh, man, those guys are just booking it. It's almost like I just need to swing randomly and hope I get lucky, you know? <laughs> I think as I skill up in the sledge, I think my reach increases too, doesn't it? Somebody said that in the comments once. It doesn't tell you that in the description, though, but that doesn't mean that's not what happens. Yeah, forget about trying to hit the fast ones. That's just not going to happen. Okay, we got her. 
but like I said, I, th I think half of it's just getting lucky, you know, and hitting, hitting the glob of them. You guys are probably sitting there saying, man, come on, get good, old guy, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is not as easy as it looks. It really isn't. <laughs> Especially for someone who's not used to the sledgehammer, you know, it's not a weapon I've used very often in this game. Hey! Cut that out. I think we hit her. It's like as soon as their head pops up on the fast ones, that's when to swing, but, you know, then I see... We should maybe, we should just try and do the slower ones. Okay, here's a slower one. Boom! Oh man, I thought that one would have hit. Yeah, we gotta hit that time. When they come like in a, <laughs> a little train there, then you can hit them. Maybe, um, maybe we should use a faster sledge for this, like a, a stone or even an iron. Wouldn't do as much damage, but it's if you get more hits, it's that's the better thing to do, of course, you know. There we go. Got to hit there. Got to hit there. And and part of it too is just me getting used to my weapon, you know. Uh, I swung too soon for big mama. That was. I think we hit. Oh, we got. <laughs> we got Nurse Nancy on that one. Okay, big mama. Boom. Not a little too late. Yeah, we got some hits there. When they come in like in a big line like that, like I said, uh, that way we get hits. Oh, you know what? I just discovered something. I need to actually aim a little lower than I'm aiming because their head starts to drop down. I'm trying to hit their head while they're on the platform. Okay, we better back up and do something about this. Um, yeah, jug turret too. Too many things for my brain to try and remember all at the same time. Okay, it's 1.15 in the morning. Let's uh, take a moment and just top things off here, repair-wise. You know what else we could do? I mean, if if we if we continued on with this base, we can easily get steel in the wasteland. And we could actually get these up here with all the steel. With a horde, you know, a horde like this, anyway, we could probably go all night without having to repair it once. I'm very happy though, like I said, with the way that they're cycling here. It's working out quite well. Damn it. Nah, we don't need to take a big bandage. Take a small one. No, 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 no! Oh shit! That's not what I want to do! Oh, I hate that! <laughs> this freaking game needs to say, are you sure you want to scrap this? Ugh. I mean, it was my fault, but, you know, heat of the moment and all that, right? <sighs> okay. We got this. We got this. I just scrapped two frickin' bandages. So irritating. Let's reload this. What they should, I think what they should do is, is uh, not everybody is going to agree or want, are you sure you want to scrap this? Because it's going to take more time, but they should at least make that an option. That we can figure. I would do it because I, you know, I do shit like that on accident sometimes. And that was a very costly mistake. Very costly. Okay, yeah, definitely working better if, if I if I aim a little bit lower. You know, because of the fact that they're dropping down. See? We got a hit right there. I don't know if I'm getting head hits, but I'm getting hits. And hits are better than no hits. Oh hey! You guys broke through my murder hole. What the hell? 
Somebody dropped a bag. Ooh, we got her. Nice. Yeah, okay. Aim lower. Aim lower. More success that way. Got her. Nice. Got a level two. We got... Actually, I think we have two levels now that we have to do something with. Now, oh, by the way, I gave it some thought, you guys. I'm gonna... I'm going right for the mini bike. I'm not even gonna mess with the bicycle in the wasteland. The more I thought about it, the more it's like, you know, that is just not gonna work very well. I don't know if we hit Nurse Nancy or if the turret did, but it doesn't matter as long as we hit her. <laughs> okay, let's back up and let's drink. Whew, okay. Let's go ahead and eat, too. Get that stamina cap back up. So, you know, we do take a little bit of damage when we're doing this, but it's it's manageable, you know, as long as you have bandages. And I've got iron armor on, so... Should we risk a Molotov down there? Oh, shoot, got it. Okay. <laughs> burn, baby, burn! Okay, they're, they're calming down. I think we've done a pretty damn good job of killing most of these guys. Yeah, didn't quite time that one well. Oh man, he got down faster than I was expecting. Got you, Nurse Nancy! <laughs> She's fast, so getting a hit off on her is good. <laughs> oh, a little too soon for for uh, Hawaii Five-O there. Up, oh, too late for him. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, there we go. Right in the noggin. Got you. Center of mass hit, I think, on that one. Ooh, that was a little too soon. Don't know if that one connected or not. It's kind of hard to say. I think it did, because he, he did his little snarl thing. Okay, that one hit. One way we could improve down below, too, is we could put... You know, like the... the the angled things on the walls. The other thing that makes this base really safe too is if they actually did collapse that, which not likely, but if they did, I mean, it doesn't matter because our this base over here is not dependent upon the structural integrity of that over there, so... There we go. Did we kill him? Nope. Look at that tough son of a bitch. He must be a feral. Of course, he's tough anyway. All right, here. Let's back off and... I think we can afford a couple shotgun blasts. Okay, got rid of him. We have one more Zeker hitting on something somewhere. So 
So we can repair uh, three of the four sides of this as needed. Okay, guys. Well, overall, I think this base worked really well. In fact, it worked very well. It worked very well. And, you know, I got a little bit better as the night progressed with the sledge, you know, just figuring out the timing and figuring out that I want to aim a little lower than I was. So, I'm very pleased with how everything turned out, um, you know, overall. So, all right. Well, let's see. We've got the one... We got the one Zeke down there. How much concrete do I have? 105. Let's go ahead and just get these upgraded now. Um, we're going to have to do some repairing down there later. So what if we... What if we do this? Let's get you picked up and reloaded as well. Oh man, I'm so pissed about <laughs> the scrap of my two bandages, though. <sighs> that is just frustrating as I'll get out. And again, you know, it was my fault. I completely own that, but I really do wish the game had a are you sure you want to scrap this option, you know? Where are you at, dude? Oh, I wonder if he's inside. He must be inside the the stadium. I've got, you know, a bunch more concrete that's that's making up too. But by the time we hit, you know, level two um, mechanic or engineer rather, we'll be able to make one anyway. Because the good thing about when we finally set off from this town is, you know, we're going to be able to take all of that equipment with us and we'll have it wherever we decide to stop and, you know, hang out for the night. Oh, I wanted to I wanted to see how the uh what shape the um the front block was on here. Yeah, see it's 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 damage, but I mean very minimal damage, very minimal. So, if we go harvest some steel ingots and get that upgraded to steel, that this is going to be a badass setup. The, the one thing I'm still just wondering in my brain, though, is should we shorten up? Should we shorten this up or not? Or maybe what would be better? Well, see, we, we were able to mostly successfully throw Molotovs down through here. Because what I was thinking is just remove this one and make that just a normal platform. This is really risky for me to be standing on, though, because if I just move to the side just a little bit either way... You know, I'm going down. What if... What time is it? It's 3.48. Can I slide through here? Oh, I can't. Okay, okay. So maybe what we do then... We can't throw Molotovs through wood frames, though. I mean, we could put wood frames down there, but they're going to get they're going to get smashed. So that isn't going to work either. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Another option is to risk extending this out a little further so I can actually go out around here and have, you know, more clearance to throw down, throw the molotovs down. So, yeah, there's there's definitely options. All right, guys. Well, definitely, I can call that a successful horde night. Um, and you know, we're gonna we've got like two levels. No, three levels. Oh my goodness, very successful horde night. <laughs> I think we started off with one point already before the night started, and then we we got two. So that's not bad at all. Um, so yeah, really nice, uh, really nice base design. It worked exceedingly well. Um, my only concern, like I said, is this setup here. Now, the safe thing to do would be to simply just, you know, put normal blocks here um, so I have a place to stand. Because there's no way they're getting through here. That's just not going to happen. I mean, you know, especially if we upgrade these to steel, right? 
they're just not going to get through there. Uh, you know, a really late game horde with a bunch of irradiated might, but not these. You know, not these early game hordes. So it might be better for us to, to you know, make this platform solid so we don't risk falling off ourselves, and then trying to extend this out further so we have a, like a little catwalk that we can walk out on and safely throw uh, the Molotovs. So I'll think about that. And it all depends, too, on, you know, <clears throat> if we're going to be here for the next Horde Night or if we decide to come back here for the next Horde Night. That might be the better plan. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, um, we are out of time. Let's go ahead and pause the game. And uh, so what we're going to do, what are we going to do next? Um, I'm going to take those three points. In fact, here, let's unpause again for a second. Um, I'm going to take those three points, and we're going to make a mini bike. And we're going to make uh, a tool bench, and we're going to make a concrete mixer close to our base. And then, uh, you know, use that stuff to get supplied am ammunition in particular. So let's go to intellect. So we we have intellect four. It's too bad we didn't find nerdy glasses, but it is what it is, right? So we're gonna take advanced engineering two. Now we can make a workbench and a cement mixer. Um, so that's done. And then we want to take we want to take grease monkey. Wait a minute, what? We have Intellect 4. Oh, duh. There we go. Um, now we can make a mini bike. Um, to make the motorcycle, we'd have to get all the way to level 6, which would cost us a total of 4 points. 1 point for this, 2 points for this, and then another point in Grease Monkey. So that would be cost us 4 points. So I don't know if I want to stay here in this location long enough to get to the motorcycle but we'll see how things go we'll see how things go um we'll definitely have the mini bike and and that's the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go home back to the base let's pause the game i'm going to go back to the base i'm going to make uh the workbench and then i'm going to make a mini bike so when we start the next episode guys i will have a mini bike and it'll be fantastic and then we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do from there okay thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll see you in the next episode Bye bye